Fighthype.com here with, I don't even really need to say his name, but I'm going to anyway. We know him here as the NBA's biggest boxing fan, Damian Lillard. Dame, is that is that fair to say? Can, can we call you? That's, def that's definitely fair. I don't know how religiously, you know, anybody else in the league follows. I'm, I know it's a lot of fans across the league of boxing, but, you know, I don't know whose fans are the big names in the big fights and who's who really deep into it. So, I mean, I would... I know that I'm up there at the least, you know. Oh no, yeah. I listen. Anyone that follows you on Twitter knows, like you, you, you in the thick of things, bro. Like yeah. I know you, you stay on top of. I mean, not just the fights, but some of the drama that goes on behind yeah. the scenes and everything. Like I, I, I know you know boxing. You are what we like to call a diehard boxing fan. Um, I love boxing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, that being said, bro, it's uh, it's fight week, big yeah. fight week. Javante Davis, Roly Romero. Um, I wanted to, um, you know, pick your brain a little bit. I, you know, this obviously this is a unique fight, um, yeah. but for me, this is a unique opportunity to pick your brain. Um, someone who is a diehard boxing fan, but you know, <laughs> is more than that. Like you're, you're also an elite athlete, the best of the yeah. best in what you do in the NBA. So I know when, you know, when you look at other sports, when you look at other athletes, you know, the real from the fake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know you're going to keep it real about this fight. So, so let's just yeah. get into it, bro. Javante Davis, Roly Romero, prior to the fight being announced, how much did you know about Roly Romero? Honestly, I, I knew a fair amount about him. Mm. Um, just because I'm I'm on YouTube so much, just I go down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos and boxing videos. So I've been I've been on the rollie for about maybe four four years, you know, probably like four years since you know that whole group was really young and they was, you know, him and Ryan Garcia. You know, I saw a video of them sparring a long time ago, and he was you know going after Ryan, swinging wild, and you know <laughs> then I started to. I followed them all on social media, so I would see their fight dates, and you know, I would I would have all these apps and be streaming all these different fights, so I can see them actually fight. Um, and I I think I looked at him most closely. He had a fight against I think Jackson Mariñez, mm -hmm. Jackson Mariñez, and um, you know, I felt like I felt like that was a fight that he lost. I felt like that was a fight that he lost. So like. I just kept following him even closer after that fight um, just to see, like, you know, how his progression would be. And he's actually looked better, you know, since since that fight. He's actually looked better. So, I mean, I've watched his interviews. I know he'd be talking. <laughs> I know he'd be talking crazy. And, um, you know, he say what he say. And he, you know, at least his energy is always the same, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you mentioned that, you know, you've been watching him and, you know, he's gotten better. The knock on him, you know, whether you're talking to other boxers or or just fans in general, they'll they'll all say, you know, he's he's got no skills. He's awkward. Um, you know, some I've, I've heard some fighters call him a bum. Um, just just from your eye, and 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 let me preface this by saying you're actually someone who 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 does film study. Is that is that correct? You've actually watched like footage of these guys' fights. Yeah, I mean, I've I've watched their fights. Um, I watched the training videos that they put up. Uh, I pay attention to how their bodies look. I pay attention to what they say. Uh, you know, I, the body language. I pay attention to all that stuff. You know, so like, um, it's it's gonna be hard. It would be hard to get something past me. You know, like mm -hmm. something that I, I wouldn't notice about you know the fighters that I'm following. So I mean, obviously, he's not. You know, when when we talk about Roly, he's not. Um, when we just look at his skills, he's not someone that they call a a technician, so to speak, right? right. Um, you know, most right. people when they talk about him, they 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 refer to him as being awkward, right? So, just from what you do see from him, from you know four years ago to now, like how much do you think he has improved? Um, I think it's hard to say because I, I think the the best way where I'm where I'm looking at a fighter and I'm noticing the improvement is when they level up in competition. Um, because it's you know he's a puncher, he he's strong, he's big for that division. So um, if he touch 
any of these guys, especially the ones that's not at a at the top level, and you know the lights gonna go out or they're gonna be hurt and not know how to respond because they're not at that level. So, um, like I said, he has looked her over, you know, since that I felt like he lost, but I don't think you really know until they get in there and they have to show that you know that, that can actually do something to him. And I think that's what that's what he's in there with right now. Where like you're gonna see if it's it's actually imp more improvement or if you know he just had confidence and comfort. And knowing that I'm just better than my opponent, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that's the million dollar question. Um, you know, has he improved enough to give Gervonta Davis a competitive fight? I mean, are, are we going to see a competitive fight come Saturday? It wouldn't surprise me, honestly, if, if it was a competitive fight. Because one thing about uh, Roley that I do believe is that, like, he think he can win. You know, like, he going to come in there and he going to try to win the fight. He a big dude, um, you know, and I think being awkward is to his advantage. You know, mm -hmm. when dudes is awkward, those are usually the ones that's, you know, is a tougher fight. And, you know, if you don't go in there and have some patience and, you know, if Tank ain't in there using his boxing skills and his experience, he ain't the dude you want to go in there with and, and get touched and get caught, you know, because it could be a disaster for him. So um, this is going to be a perfect opportunity to show his improvement. Um mm -hmm. And I think I think it's going it has a good chance to be a competitive fight unless he come in there, you know, fighting wild and out of control for the knockout. And, <laughs> you know, Tank has an, has real skill. You know, people talk about his power, but he has real boxing skills. So I can see it being competitive and I can also see, you know, Roley coming in there aggressively and a little out of control to get him and get hit by something he don't see, you know. So mm -hmm. like. It wouldn't surprise me if it was competitive at all, but I think it could go either way. You know, you you mentioned him, you know, talking confident and everything. How how much is that going to play a role in this fight? I mean, obviously, you, you got to be confident anytime you're being competitive. But, you know, Roley has a sense of, you know, his, his confidence is almost it's almost like an ignorant type of confidence. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, you can't tell yeah, him no. nothing. I mean, it. Like I said, it could it could help him, but it could also it could also hurt him mentally. You know, just speaking as a professional athlete, it might hurt him mentally uh, if he has this idea like I'm gonna knock him out in the first round. You know, he got this big head, and I'm a he can't you know he he can't he can't take my punch. I got power and whatever. And in his mind, it sounds like he really believes that like. There's no chance I'm gonna lose as it should, but like, I don't hear that healthy fear of like something could go down in there. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I think when you come in like that and your mentality is like that, it leaves that room for it to be, you know, the sixth round and you throwing these hard punches and now you're a little tired because they not landing like you thought, and you getting touched and you like having that mental battle of like, man, can I beat this dude? Like especially in, in boxing, you know, like they say you don't play boxing. So if it get in there and it's going the complete opposite of what he said and what he thought, you know, you might be in there thinking about everything you said, like, man, like I was saying all this and it can put you in that state of like panic, especially at that highest level if you've never been there. So, I mean, it, I don't know, it could play in his favor, but it could definitely be something that come up, you know, in those mid rounds where he like, you know, man, I was saying all this stuff and I can't even, you know, I'm getting touched. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. land nothing, you know, so we're going to see, man. I, I can't wait to see it. You know, let me let me flip it on to Javante uh, real quick. I, I know you you said you 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 read body language in, in cats and everything. So uh, just having said that. When we look back at this fight, I mean, obviously it was supposed to happen in December. It got canceled because of Roley's situation. Now it's back mm -hmm. on. You know, during that whole time frame, you know, Javante was kind of, you know, he was kind of complaining a little bit. You know, he kind of felt like, ah, oh, this is a setup. And, you know, just 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 all that behind the scenes drama that um, I'm sure you've probably kept up on. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is there anything we can read into with that? I mean, is this is this a situation where maybe Gervonta could have a letdown because it's not really a fight he he wanted, or you know, th does that even matter? I mean, I think it matters because it's a. I think for one is you know they clearly don't like each other, 
Mm-hmm. Um, but it's also one of those things where I think about it. I'm like, man, a lot of these dudes that just don't lose have been losing, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's one of those things where because of him being tank and him fighting the guy that, like you said, a lot of the, I guess, experts and analysts and all these people are saying, you know, he's a bum and he don't have no skills and he can't do that. So that's, that's really, I'll see you later. Yeah, text me. Uh, but it's like you have all these people saying these things and it's like that puts pressure on him to have to perform you know and that I think that leaves room for a letdown but I don't think I think Tank is 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 ready like I ain't never seen Tank go out there and, and not do him you know what I mean and he's been at this level so I don't honestly I think he gonna turn up you know what I mean I think he gonna show up because of that, he's gonna show up on point, you know. Mm-hmm. What do you make of of all the? Well, I was just gonna say it's really just Roley that's doing the trash talking because Javante's, um, you know, he's kind of been focused. He's he's on his Marvin Hagler, you know, locked in camp, ready to go to war and everything. So he really hasn't been talking much, but um, you know, Roley's been doing all the talking. It, it is is that? I mean. I guess it could be good and bad for both of them, depending on how you look at it. But but is that the, the, the trash talk in and of itself? Is that something you like to see going into fights? I mean, I like to see people mean what they say. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's that's something that I'm always intrigued by going into a fight. Like, who's actually going to do what they're all these things they're saying they're going to do? Because you see the opposite so many times. Um, so I don't really... I don't really play into it a lot, you know, um, whether somebody is trash talking. Because some people be like, I'm going to let my fight do the talking. And when they get in there, the person that actually was talking, going there and is doing what they said. So you just you just never know. Um, but I think for um, for Roley, you know, he's saying he's having a lot to say. And it's – I'll say this, too, as a professional athlete um, – being at a professional level and then being at the highest level and like on the biggest stage, there's truly a difference. Mm -hmm. It's really a difference. And, you know, you don't really know that difference until like, you know, you get in the ring and it's time Mm -hmm. and everything got to get backed up and you have to perform. And now you've said all these things and now people aren't just watching the fight to see who's going to win. They're watching you to, you got to back all that up. You said this, you said that. So like, it can be tough when you get on that stage and you realize it's different when you get in there, you know, like it, it really is. It's just different. So I wonder, you know, how much he's saying all these things because it feels normal, like a normal camp, you know, like I'm just in camp, they in my gym, they got the cameras out. Like, so I'm comfortable saying all these things in my comfort zone but then once you go out there and you on a stage you've never been on i'm curious to see how he how he carries that you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah i mean this is his first you know, pay-per-view i mean it's just it's really a first everything for him that he's ever been on this level so yeah that's it's gonna uh, be the first time a lot of people see him and mm-hmm. for tank i think um he Tank has been quiet, like you said, but like when they met face to face, he showed his truth, like what, he, how he really felt. You know True. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. He showed how he really felt. So like the fact that he gave you that energy of like he talked some shit and he got in his face and he showed some like dislike and where he stood going into this fight, and then he went away. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. to me, that shows that also shows experience at this level. You know, whereas like. I ain't going to keep carrying that on over and over and keep saying more. Like, y'all saw how I feel. Mm -hmm. See where I stand with this dude. And, like, now it's time to just do all the stuff I got to do before we get in the ring and and settle it. Um, But that also don't mean that he going to go out there and just win. Like, they got to fight. In boxing, you know, one shot can change everything. And Roley got that one shot in both hands that can change everything. Facts, facts. And then and, and this is why we watch the fights because you know they, they got a fight. I mean, how many people thought Canelo was gonna lose to Bivol, right? Like yeah. upsets happen all the time. Um, you know, that being said, how uh, look, 
we know they're both big punchers. This fight could probably go a million different ways. How do you think it's going to go? I mean, are you expecting early night, long night, like, like just, you know, with your boxing knowledge and, and don't, and, 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 you know, don't, don't sugarcoat it. Don't, don't, don't cop out and be like, well, you know, like give it to me real Dame. how you see this fight playing out. Honestly, I feel like, I feel a little bit nervous for Tank. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, because I love watching Tank. You know, I, I love Tank as a fighter, but I just feel a little bit nervous for him because Roley really punching. Like, he got real power and he looked the part. Like, he looks powerful and he is powerful. Mm. And, you know, I anybody can get caught. So, like, I get nervous. I'm, like, nervous for him. Because I'm like, man, with that type of power and that physicality and he might come in here rough and he awkward and maybe everything he's saying, maybe he's going to get in the ring and really believe like that, you know, and that can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. But if I had to put my money on something, I'm, I put my money on Tank catching him and knocking him out. Mm -hmm. And I think it, I think it's going, I think that it's going to be I think Roley will be able to take shots from him, but I think it it it'll be a shot that he's, you know, he might be trying to get something off himself and leave himself open, and he ain't gonna see it. And I can see Tank landing something, and you know, I, mm. I can see an over like that. Mm. Mm. That's what makes it a good fight, though. That's what makes it a good fight. The fact that you're a little bit nervous, and you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, it's like I think it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not counting Roley out at all. Like, right. But I just, you know, like I said, just from, I've seen them both fight. You know, I've heard them both talk. I I feel like I know the personalities. You know, I'm not just going into these fights saying I watched him fight. I saw him knock this person out. Like, I listen to what people say. And I listen and I watch the body language of the people around them and what they say and how they perform versus what they said five fights ago. And you know what I mean? Like, I I pay attention, so I don't, you know, I don't say nothing loosely, you know, where mm -hmm. I'm just saying anything. Like, Roley might go in there and have a night, but mm -hmm. I just, I, that's just what I see happening. I think Tank don't catch him. 